In this video, we're going to unbox a class 9999SX auxiliary contact and install as well as convert the con set of contacts inside of it. So we'll open the box. Inside the box, you'll get a instruction sheet, a mounting bracket with this mounting screw. And for the SX8 that I have here, you'll get a normally open auxiliary contact and a normally closed auxiliary contact. So to mount these, using the mounting plate for a size Z double aught to size two, you'll use the mounting plate that comes with the prepackaged auxiliary kit. On a size three through seven, the mounting plate itself actually has them built into the device. So to mount these, put it alongside. This can go in the left or right hand side of the device. We'll go ahead and tighten these down. All right, then to mount the auxiliary contact, I have a 9999SX6 here, which is a normally open auxiliary contact. These can be mounted on either side of the device. So what you're gonna do is align this operating lever along with the cavity in the starter itself. And these can be removed and positioned in either way to make sure it operates correctly and interlocks with the starter. So for these, you're gonna slide this right in there. Right. And to test operation, you actually can mechanically activate your device without it being powered on by taking a flathead screwdriver or other operating tool and manually actuating your contacts. You can see here, that the operating lever is interacted and interlocked with the contact carrier of the device, and you can see the operation. All right, to uninstall, the reverse steps, just unmount from the adapter base. And you can either leave this on, you can have up to two mounted on the same adapter base or mounting plate on either side of the device, or you can remove it for future use. All right. The next part will show you how to convert. If you order a normally open or a normally closed, we do have on these external auxiliary contacts, we do have convertible devices, um, which if you order a normally open, you can convert it normally closed or vice versa. As you can see, these blocks are transparent, so you can actually see if the device is normally closed or normally open because they do have the printed part number on the device. This one's a 9999SX7, which is a normally closed. You can see the closed contact here. You operate the device, it opens up. So we're gonna convert this to a normally open. First, you're gonna remove the three screws holding the cover plate. All right. Now that the screws have been loosened, we can remove the cover plate that's on the opposite side and take that cover off. And what we're gonna do is reverse the location of this cam wheel. So we'll take the screws out, make sure not to lose them because you'll need them to put it back together. Flip it over and there's a cover plate. In order to convert these simple instructions are just to remove the cam and the spring. You can take the cam, flip it over. Right back here, so the operating levers on the outside of the device, and then reinsert your spring back into the same location. So now you'll actually be able to see, I'm gonna do it with the cover off, you'll be able to see the contact itself is now normally open, and under operation, we'll close. And then we'll just mount the cover plate back on, tighten the screws, and it'll be ready to install. So the auxiliary contacts for the Type S device, the external 9999SX style contacts, are able to mount on the left or right side of the device on the top or bottom. So you'll see in the mounting bracket that you can mount it top or bottom wise. With that, we have to have a removable and interchangeable operating lever. 
So in order to change that direction, because right now you can only mount it in this orientation with the cavity of the device, what we're gonna do is it pops right off for the operating lever, you rotate the side and push it right back on.